Posh has my keys. Posh, come here. Come here. Can I have them? <laughs> You're gonna break your teeth, girl. I should have brought her a toy. Okay, so uh, <laughs> so question one. Uh, question one comes from. Let me just check. Let me. I gotta double check to make sure it's anonymous. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, so this this comes from a guy named Nicholas, and Nicholas writes. Hi Steve, my name is Nicholas. I'm 18 and have recently started college. I'm super excited about it because I, because of course I have heard about college and it's a great place to express yourself unapologetically. My immediate family and all of my friends know that I am gay, but for some reason telling people about my sexuality doesn't seem to get any easier. I still get nervous about it and go to the mental state of fearing, of fearing reaction. I have three roommates from my first semester of college and I don't really know how to tell any of them that I'm gay. I don't want to randomly go to their doors and announce it, but I also don't want this heteronormative society to enable them to assume that I'm straight. We're not crazy close friends, but I still think that they should know. What should I do? It's a great question. Number one, I like that you brought up heteronormativity. Uh, it, it's something that uh, has been in discussions for a while as we get more and more progressive. But heteronormativity is true. So what you're saying is you're moving with these three roommates, but you don't want to exactly kick down their door and be like, hey, I'm a homosexual, you guys better get used to that. And I completely understand that sentiment. I had, um, I think I, I had like uh, five or six, I had six roommates. There was a lot of us living in the house. And it took me two years to come out to those guys, even though they were some of my closest friends and drinking companions. I would say, let them get to know you as you first. Don't, don't lead off with the whole gay thing uh, if you're not comfortable with doing it right away, especially. Are you finding toys under the bed? You don't want to give in to the heteronormative society and immediately label yourself for these guys, then don't. Let them get to know, you know, you know, if they ask the girl questions, figure out how you're going to respond, whether it's like with um, kind of ambiguous statements or if you'll just brush it off and be like, oh, I'm just not into girls and let it happen like organically. Posh, I'm trying to film a television show. Okay. Hey girl, can we go film? Get a comfort level with them first, you know, figure out from, figure them out as people. I'm guessing you don't know these guys yet, but when they get to know you, maybe they'll get to know you for you before, you know, you as like their gay roommate. Because I think it's, I think it's really easy to fall into that where it's like, oh yeah, we have, I have like a gay roommate back home, you know, and that's like the first thing they say about you instead of like how cool you are and stuff. Let go, let go, let go, let go, please let go. Oliver's never gonna forgive me. No, 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 no. Your tube is through the threading. Okay. Are you okay, bud? I'm so sorry. What you doing? You just wilding out? You just wilding out right now? Oh, are you ready for the next question? It gets easier every time. Every time you, you come out, it gets easier than the last time you did it. So just keep practicing. Maybe don't start with the roommates at college. Find people who are open-minded that you know are gonna be cool. Try it out with them so it gets easier a little bit every time. Every time you say, I'm gay, it'll feel that much easier. And with your roommates, let it happen naturally. I mean, I, I'm speaking on behalf of my own experience, but I think it's like pretty great to have your roommates know you for you before like putting a label on you uh, and assuming everything you do is gay and not just who you are. Posh, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in the next video. She's eating my hands right now. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Have a kiss instead? Okay, no, she just wants to eat my hand. Bye!